he asked, there are tons of drills on the internet and pretty much every skill on pretty much every skill in basketball. How do I know which drill will actually help me translate those skills to real game situations? And this is another great question. I talk about this all the time in terms of like making sure the drills you do are actually like effective because this is a big thing for me growing up is like I didn't always do drills that were um, the most effective. You know, I spent a lot of time doing real basic stationary ball handling, two ball drills, all this stuff that is, is cool. Like it'll help you a little bit, but like you can't just do it because if you just do that, you're not going to see the, the amount of game results that you want to see. Um, and I didn't get that until I was probably a junior or senior in high school. So very important that you guys are not doing the wrong things um, because you can really end up wasting your time if you do. Um, I, I, what I told, what I, my answer to him in the DM was essentially, you know, some of it is, is, is trial and error. Um, you know, for me personally, like I can, I can look at something and be like, you know, I've done something similar to that before and it worked or it didn't work. Like I can kind of identify at this point, like, you know, what, what I think is good and what I think it isn't, which is why, like, there are a lot of guys who post stuff that, like, I'm like, this is real good, like, this is really good stuff, you know, I'll give, again, a shout out to, to a lot of guys who, who I follow who post a lot of really great stuff, um, by any means, basketball, Coleman, shout out to him, all his stuff he, he posts is really, really good, um, you know, a lot of really detailed stuff that goes into it, you know, I think one of the things that I like about what they do, and what a lot of these guys do, um, you know, I'll even name more of them, you know, you look at, um, Tyler Ralph, another guy who's great at, at, at all this stuff. DJ Sackman. Um, the, what I like about those guys is, and what, where I think basketball is heading, basketball training is heading, is get, getting away from the whole status quo, like do this, do this, do this, because this is what it's all. This is what we've always done, right? That's kind of been the 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 outlook on basketball training forever, right? Growing up, it was like, okay, we're gonna do this drill because they always have done this drill. But like, what if there's a drill that was better than that one, that was more effective for for what we want to get out of, right? What if, you know, you, you always see these like daily ball handling routines where it's just like you're kind of basic, you know, pounds, taps, you know, crossovers, all these things, which are cool. Again, I'm not trying to say those things aren't cool. We do those in our workouts too. But they can't be the only thing that you do, right? If all you do every day is do some taps and some, crossovers stationary for 10 minutes you're never going to be a great ball handler right unless you're just naturally good unless you got you know jamal crawford you know the the handles like that where you just like you look like you were just born with the basketball in your hands um but you you aren't going to be as effective as you could be what what i really like about those guys do is they take a skill like ball handling right and they actually dissect how to do it and some of that 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 i do with, with all my players now in our workouts it's like okay I'm going to take this skill, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to actually sh- figure out the best way to actually develop it. Okay. So for example, with ball handling, with ball control, something that I've learned a lot is that, um, you want to be able to go like, like the faster you can, you can move the basketball, the, the more control you're going to have of it. Okay. And, and, and in addition to that, the more directions you can move the ball in, in a certain move, the, the, the more times you have to change directions, the better your your ball handling is going to become. So like we might go into like a V dribble into a between the legs behind the back where I got to go V. So there's one, two, three, four change directions right there. And I'm trying to go as fast as I possibly can. That right there really will help your ball control because you have to be able to execute these, these, these only change directions while also going as fast as you can where you might lose the ball, which um, every, all of our workouts, I'm always reminding our guys, guys, lose the ball, please. You should lose the ball because if you aren't losing the ball, you probably aren't pushing yourself. And like I said, if you want to get better at controlling the ball, first of all, you're going to be able to change directions. That's point. That's part one. But also, you gotta you gotta be able to go as fast as you can. So if you're not doing that, then you're only getting half of it. You're not going to be getting as you're not going to be getting better at it. So that was what I really like about the stuff those guys do. Is they're not just they don't just say, okay, you know what, I am going to do this like because that's what everyone always has done. No, it's like we're going to break down and say what exactly works. You know, what's going to be, what's going to put our players in the best position to succeed. And this is something that I've learned a lot um, and that I continue to, to develop with a lot of my guys. And I see it work time and time and time again with my own game and the players I work with too. So that kind of comes to, you know, you want to find stuff that, that is proven. What have other players said about it, right? What have trusted sources said about it? So, you know, for example, with the perimeter score system, my big thing is like, 
I, I'm always asking my guys like, okay, how are things going for you? Like, how how are the workouts going? What what results are you seeing? Because if it comes back and they're like, oh, coach, this sucks, this is terrible, like I've gotten worse, like, well, then it's like I gotta I gotta I gotta evaluate that because obviously I can't put that out there, right? Because then like, what how is that's not fair to anybody if if what I'm putting out there is not helping anybody. Um, and then obviously like no one, no one's going to, no one should want it. Right. If, if my stuff doesn't work for anybody, you shouldn't want it. So, so that, that's how I look at things too. You have to see, you know, if you're just going to random stuff, look at who, who, who like look at the reviews for it, essentially. Um, has it worked for other people? Do, you know, think about the, the players, you know, who are really good. Like, what do they do? Like what drills do they do to get better? Who do they work with? You know, ask them about that. Um, you know, for me, all the stuff that I that I have on my channel is stuff that I've learned from people, from either players who are better than me. So, you know, when I'm working out with guys who have played professionally, played, you know, in college, and, and especially when I was younger, when I was working with guys who had that experience, who would teach me things, you know, that, that I would see, like, okay, this guy is really good at this, and I'm learning this from him, right? And because I can take that, um, I, I'm able to understand that like this, this stuff's effective. And, and then I, then I would actually do it myself. So bring into that trial and error. And now I see, oh, this is effective. Like this actually works. So a lot of it comes to how do you feel, right? Do you feel like you've gotten better, right? Do you feel after you've done a workout that you've gotten better at that one thing, right? If you're going through a ball handling workout, you get to the end of it and you don't feel like your ball handling is any better. Well, ask yourself how effective that is. Now, maybe that could be that you weren't pushing yourself enough, but if you were pushing yourself really hard and you still aren't any better at it, maybe maybe it's not great. Maybe the training itself isn't that effective. Okay, so you gotta be able to ask yourself that. Um, I'm not saying you should be hopping, you know, hopping ship after one thing. You know, you, you start a program and you want Kyrie Irving after one ball handling workout, so you quit. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying you should see improvement. Okay, if you're not seeing any improvement, then you probably are focusing on the wrong things. So that's what I try and bring to all of my workouts. It's like, I'm not going to put out something that I know that I, I will not put out something that I don't know gets results, right? If I don't know if it's going to get results or not, I'm not going to put it out, right? But if I know that like I've seen this work, I know people who can vouch for that, I can vouch for it myself. Then that's something that I'm going to put out that I know will help you guys, okay? Because if I don't do that, then it's like, you know, I lose credibility. Um, and obviously my players don't see results. So like no one wins. Um, so I'm putting out stuff and you want to find guys again, who, who do that, who don't just put things out to put things out because a lot of people do that. A lot of people just put out things to put out videos. Um, but they aren't trying to deliver value in everything that they do. So that, again, that's why I shout out to by any means basketball, you know, he put out, he puts out value in everything he does. Um, it's all really, really good. Um, shout out to DJ Sackman, Tyler Ralph, those guys all put out really, really good stuff. Um, that's going to help you. Jordan Lawley as well. Another guy I really like, um, and there, there's more guys too, but those are just off the top of my head. Um, a few guys who, who I follow, who, um, do a lot of great stuff. So, you know, you want to look at guys who, who, who can actually deliver results, who have guys, who have players who, um, have also gotten those results. And, and, and also, you know, like me sitting here, you know, obviously I have my own stuff, but I respect those guys and what they do so much. They're like, I'm like, Oh yeah, like that, that guy's really, really good. Um, so, so pay attention to what, to what people say about, about, people right because that's kind of where you're going to get that that baseline from anyone can talk a big game about this is going to do this and this and this but if you don't see results from people then you know what is it exactly it's talk so that's something to, to recognize as well but it's a good question um you want to make sure that you you know you should see results in the training that you're doing if you aren't seeing results then you know question whether or not that that training is actually effective okay because if i had done that you know when i was younger probably could have seen a, a, big, a bigger difference in my game at an earlier age. Um, but again, I had to learn that the hard way. So that's kind of my goal with all of this is like give you guys stuff right now. So whatever age you are now, you can take what I'm doing and, and I'm, I'm giving you guys stuff that works, that will help you to get better. And because of that, uh, you, you'll you skip that part of it. So now, you're, you're not, so now what your focus is, is doing everything the right way you know, doing the drills the right way, but also going as fast as you can, going as hard as you can, depending on the drill. Um, so, so that's kind of my, my outlook on things, but I want you guys right now, go to the top link in my description and get my free elite perimeter score workout. We're going to work on a bunch of different skills that you need to have. If you want to be an elite player in the perimeter, make sure you guys check it out completely free. Click the link. I'll send it right to you.